Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part two of the same topic. We already done four questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So we'll start with question number five. A rectangular lawn is 30 meter into 20 meter. It has two flower beds that is 1.5 meter wide running in the middle of it, one parallel to the length and the other parallel to the breadth. There is a lamp post in the center on a cubical cemented platform of age 1.5 meter. There is a 2 meter walking path on the outside of the rectangular park. Find the area of the flower bed, then the area of the walking path and the area of grassy portion. So we'll see this one by one. First, let us see for the area of the flower beds. So area of flower beds, so that is nothing but that is the area of lawn. So that is 30 into 20 because the length into breadth. So that will be 600 meter square. So area of each flower bed so one bed actually runs, what did they say? Parallel to the length and the other parallel to the bed. So parallel to the length means it will be, so it has two flower bed that is 1.5 meter running in the middle, one parallel to the length and the other parallel. So this is 1.5 into this one, the length, this length and the breadth. So here will be 120. So that is going to be 30 meter square and other parallel to the breadth. So this will be 1.5 into 30, that will be 45 meters square. So total area will be how much? 30 plus 45, so total area of the flower beds, that is 75 meters square. Now the area of the cubical cemented platform, here it's given here. There is a lamppost in the center on a cubical cemented platform. Of age 1.5, it's given here 1.5 meter. So what will you do? 1.5 meter into that because that is a cubical. So cubical means we can write here because the length and the uh, this is going to be the same. So it will be 1.5 into 1.5. That is going to be 2.5, 2.25 meter square. So this is the area of the cubical cemented platform. So now we'll see here, we want the area of the walking path. So area of this walking path means walking path runs what? That is two meter on outside of the path that is given. There is a two meter walking path on the outside of the rectangular path. So dimensions of this entire park will be including the walking part that is going to be 30 plus because there is a walking part runs that is 2 meter and outside of the, this one, the area of the walking part. So 30 plus 2 into 2 multiplied by 20 plus 2 into 2. So this step is very important how to write the dimensions. So now this will be 30 plus 4 multiplied by 20 plus 4. So this is going to be 34 multiply by 24. So when you multiply this one, that is going to be 816 meters square. So we can write here area of walking path that will be area of entire park. So this is the walking path. We can say area of the entire park minus the area of the, so this will be here because the walking path will be here and the lawn will be here. So we can say area of the entire park minus area of the lawn. So here, what did we get here? Area of the entire park we got is 816. And area of the lawn we got here, that is 600 meters square. So here, 816 minus 600, that is going to be 216 meters square. Now they are asked for the third thing they are asked, that is the area of the grassy portion. So area of the grassy portion is going to be area of the lawn minus the total area of the flower beds minus the area of the cubical cemented platform. So this is the area of the lawn is 600. Total area of the flower beds we got here. 
that is 75 meter square and area of the cubicle cemented platform that is 2.25 meter square so this is 522.75 meter square so now a circular plot has a radius of 42 meter or 3.5 meter wide road runs on the inside of the plot around it find the area of the road also find the cost of paving the road at rupees 45 per meter square so the radius of circular plot is given this is 42 meter so and the width is given or we can say 35 this 3.5 meter width wide means the width is given as 3.5 meter so now area of this circular plot that is because it is of this circle means that formula is pi r square so the pi value we can take as 22 by 7 and the radius is given as 42 so 42 into 42 7 ones are 7 six are when you multiply this you get 5544 4 meters square now the area of inner circle excluding the road so now inner circle radius will be this 42 minus 3.5 so that is going to be 38.5 meter so area of the inner circle that is again this this pi r square so 27 by 22 by 7 so into the, because this is the area this way this we got as 38.5 into 38.5 so when you simplify this one this will be 5.5 and when you multiply all you get 4658.5 meter square so now the area of road what do we want here we want the area of the road and later on we'll find the cost area of the road is area of plot minus area of the inner circle so we got the area of the road as 5544 minus the area of the inner circle that is 4658.5 so that is 885.5 so now this is done with the area of the road now we have to find the cost cost is given the rupees 45 per meter square so now here this is totally is 885.5 meter square so we can say cost of paving the road for 1 meter square that is rupees 45 so see here 1 meter square below this is rupees 45 so we need 885.5 885.5 meter square so below meter square you can write meter square will be how much so we are going to cross multiply so cross multiply means here whenever we have two numbers that should be in the numerator so 885.5 into 45 divided by 1 so we usually we don't write one so when you multiply this one that is going to be rupees 39,847.50 now to find the area of the shaded region in figure this is the figure given if pqrs is a square now here this is according to this this pq rs is a square is given so now length of square pq rs so length of this one square pq rs means we if because it is a square means all the sides should be same so now can you see here this is given as seven from till here and this is the part and uh, this is given as five or we can do this one it will be more better because this is not exactly it doesn't look like a square but it it should be a square so this will be more clear now this is seven and now this part and this part is the same because it's a square because now this is seven if this is five this should be seven from here to here so this seven plus five that is going to be 12 centimeters so length of square this one one side is going to be 12 centimeter so now we can see the area of square pqrs so now here pq values means this 7 plus 5 that is 12 so 12 into 12 side into side so that will be 144 centimeter square now we will take the area of triangle abs a b and s this one if we take this triangle so what we can see here this is also 7 and this also should be 7 so now or we can also draw like this so this is 7 and this is 7 so this is the base and this is the height so what we can write here half into base into height so half into 7 into 7 so when you 
multiply this one that will be 49 by 2 which is 24.5 so what we can see we want the area of this shaded region this portion area we want so here this is a triangle and here also both triangles are going to be equal so now what we can write here this twist triangle means we can write a cdq so area of cdq is the same as that is 24.5 because both are going to be the same so area of triangle we can just try put this this names a b c d for the better understanding that was not that was not there in the figure so i have put this with a yellow color so this because to differentiate so this a b c d is the shaded region so what we can write triangle a b s plus triangle this c d q that is 24.5 and 24.5 that will be for 49 centimeter square so the area of the shaded region is this region is what will you do you are going to sub from this square this one square you are going to subtract this two so that will be what will be left is the shaded region from this square these two triangles you are going to subtract it to get this one this part so now what will you write area of the shaded region is area of square pqrs minus area of this two so what the, what is this two that is 49 so this area of the square a b p q r s we got as 144 minus 49 so the area of the shaded region is 95 centimeter square so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you